Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me? Well, I'm not being funny, but this is sort of stealing my thunder a bit, don't you think? Sorry. Well, what is this, George? Top Trumps, the cancer edition. Uh, well, I... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the right thing here. I waited my turn. I sat very patiently through Jean's half-hour eulogy for Patricia the Pug. Oh, I sat very patiently indeed, waiting for the top spot to tell everyone about my dead nan. You sweep in at the last minute with your dead kid. Nigel. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit miffed, George. I mean, you're new here. I don't want to put you off. But at the end of the day, there is sharing. And then there's stealing. Stealing? Thieving. Pilfering. Nobody has stolen anything from you. Oh, haven't they? What about the theft of a moment? My moment. My dead nan's moment. I mean, you don't find Atomic Kitten coming on stage after Beyonce's done all of her playing to do another number, do you? No. Beyonce would belt them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to take a short interval, so fill your drinks, and Mummy will be back with you in ten. <laughs> so what's going on? Do tell. I feel like I haven't seen you for months. Have you finally come out yet? Not yet, no. Oh, come on. There's a little queer inside you. Admit it. I'm an actor, darling. Of course there's a little queer in me. <laughs> darling, darling. And how is graduated life? It's good, yeah. He's just got a job. Two gents, Valentine. Oh, well, bravo. Hardly a surprise, but a triumph all the same. I remember when I gave my lance back in 2010. The audience wouldn't stop laughing. The pub had complaints. Felix! Oh, Joanna! Mm. I hope it didn't come across too strong-handed. No, don't worry. What we're doing here is very important for the pupils. You understand? Yeah. Sensitive? Of course. It's important to know we can trust one another. All of us, together. I understand. I am truly sorry for any offence I may have caused you. Great. So that's the whole ridiculous business over and done with then, yeah? Hmm. The thing is, I am offended though. Mm, yeah, you weren't even here, you didn't even hear it. But nonetheless, it has deeply, deeply offended me. You're saying I should apologise to you? Absolutely. You should apologise to me and to everyone who read the tweet, or had the tweet retweeted, or saw the outrage caused by the tweet. All of you. Yeah. Guy? Why is it that people think that taking offence at something, saying I find it offensive, means that they've won the argument? Why can I not just say, so what if you're offended? Live with it! Where are these fucking people? Well, broadly speaking, these fucking people are your public, the people who watch your show. No, I despise people like you. Those who've learned how to use this new phenomenon of social media for your own cynical ends. Perhaps you gave things a little stir yourself, did you? Keep things bubbling along, did you? Well, actually, hashtag PatioGate, that was mine, yeah. Was it? Yeah. 